Hello, everybody. Wanda Thibodeau here of the Faithful on the Clock podcast, and this is Challenge Me Monday. So the verse that we have for today is Matthew 13, 22. And that says, Jesus said, the one who received the seed that fell among the thorns is the man who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke it, making it unfruitful. And I think we've all had times in our life where, you know, maybe we heard some good advice and we just didn't really act on it. We didn't make it part of our life, even though we knew it was good advice. Um, and that's kind of what he's getting at here is that people will hear what he had to say. They will hear the word and they just won't kind of absorb it and make it part of their life. But you don't have to be that way. OK, you can hear it and absorb it and take it. OK, and let that stuff grow. OK. So the challenge that I want to have for this week is I think a lot of the time um, the reason why things fall by the wayside and they don't grow is because we don't have a lot of accountability. We don't have some pe somebody there who's going to look at what we're doing and say, hey, you know, you said you were going to do that. What's up with that? You didn't do it, right? Or maybe somebody who's going to say, you know, if you do do this, here's how your life could change for the better. And to give you those alternate perspectives, right? So I think it's really important that you have those people in your life to make this grow, right? I think that it's like somebody coming in with a watering can and giving you water, right, to, to help you, okay? So that being said, what I want you to do is I want you to find at least one person who can kind of be an accountability partner for the word with you. And that person, I mean, they can have all kinds of business skills too. I mean, it can be somebody on your team, but it can be a loved one, a counselor, Whoever, as long as they understand the word and they want to help you grow in that, all right? So there's a lot of options that you have there. I think if you have somebody who knows your business perspectives and your business goals, that'll help. Because again, you know, part of this verse is the deceitfulness of wealth, right? And for your career, there's so many things in a career that can pull you away from God, right? And make you think, oh, well, I can't follow God because X, Y, Z. Right, because your career kind of gets in the way and, and the thing, all the things that we say from society that you have to do business in a certain way, or you just worry that maybe you won't have the money or the status or whatever, right? Your accountability partner, if they know you want to do business in a Christian way, they can hold you to it so that this growth will happen, right? So I will leave you there, okay? But I will, of course, remind you that we have our discussion chat on Thursday at 6 p.m. I would love to have you join us. Links for that are up top. Please RSVP. You can download the questions that go along with that for free. So I will hopefully see you there. Take care.